panel of this morning, which will focus on access to and affordability of uh, medical technologies. My name is uh, Eleanor Hoon. I am a lawyer. My work is in um, medicines, law, and policies. I work for various organizations, such as the WHO, but also for governments uh, in the developing world. And I am the president of Knowledge Ecology International. I have been working on medicines and access to medicines issues for a very long time, and I have learned a lot about what the consequences of in particular kind of patent protection can have for access to medicines when I worked on access to ACE drugs for Médecins Sans Frontières for more than 12 years. We have seen in the field of HIV and AIDS uh, a greater flexible approach to, uh, to patent protection but we don't necessarily see that come back. In other areas what we do see today is um, across you know, both sides of the Atlantic, uh, increasing number of crises uh, with regard to access to medicines. The pricing, pharmaceutical pricing is spiraling completely out of con control. There is a race to the top. If you look, for example, to cancer medication, every new drug is more expensive than the one before, and the, and, and the norm has become uh, about 100,000 for, uh, for a treatment. Uh, we talked in the last few days, a new treatment for hepatitis C, which is marketed by, by Gilead, which is priced here in the United States at 84,000 per treatment, which is $1,000 per pill that is the most expensive pill uh, ever. It's more expensive than gold, um, I believe. So clearly there are huge uh, issues, and it shouldn't surprise anyone that um, has ever looked at uh, trade agreements and the consequences of them for access to medicines that we are worried about what is happening in these secret talks that are currently taking place between the EU and the United States, because we know that IP is on the agenda of the TTIP. So without further ado, I would like to first invite Lee Purvis, who is the Senior Strategic Policy Advisor with the AARP Public Policy Institute. That is a very famous organization, and I think everyone in the United States knows what this abbreviation means, but for those Europeans that do not, it is the um, American Association of Retired Persons, and I imagine that there is a great deal of concern about the cost of uh, medical and pharmaceutical technologies. So, Lee, you have the floor. Great. Thank you very much for having me here today. Um, my name is Lee Hermes, and I actually was just until recently a Senior Strategic Policy Advisor, but I'm now Director of Health Services Research, if you're looking for me on our website. So, even better. Um, even better. I've been invited here to provide a consumer perspective on why issues and provisions contained within TTIP are important to ARP. I'm going to start off by providing a little bit of background. It's really helpful for people that maybe aren't familiar with our work and the type of things that really interest us. Uh, to try to help you understand where we're coming from when I start getting to the point in the presentation where I discuss you know, our, our views. So I'm going to focus primarily on prescription drug issues. Um, first of all, I think everyone has heard us say this if you've heard us speaking in public before. Uh, older Americans use more prescription drugs than any other segment of the population. More than two-thirds take more than three drugs and more than three-quarters are taking two or more. So when you talk about an older population, you're talking about people who take a lot of prescription drugs, so the costs associated with them are extremely important. Um, it's also really important to mention that older populations have the highest prevalence of chronic conditions. So when we are talking about prescription drug costs, we're talking about people who are taking drugs uh, at, at one point in time and then taking them for the rest of their lives. So this isn't a one-time expense for them. This is something they're facing for the rest of their lives. Something that's already been mentioned in the introduction to this panel. Um, something that is extremely important to us is the cost associated with a lot of the drugs that are coming on the market these days. Um, annual costs can go anywhere from 25,000 to 200,000 or more. A factoid that I always like to bring out is 12 out of the 13 new cancer drugs approved in 